How'd the workout go for you today? It went awesome. Uh, you know, I felt like I, I came and competed. We all did. It was a great group of guys. Uh, a lot of guys that are projected, um, you know, to, to be in this draft, uh, you know, so there's no better opportunity to get in front of them and in front of the coaches and just compete, man. That's what I love to do, and that's what I felt like it was today. We saw your old college roommate, George Niang, out here watching the workout. Was it nice to be reunited with him for a day? Yeah, no question, man. That's, uh, you know, my best friend, my brother, uh, roommate for four years. You know, so to, to be here while he's a pacer, um, you know, it's something we talked about when we were freshmen about making the NBA. He finally did it. Uh, you know, now I got to do my part and continuously work, man. And, you know, he's an inspiration to myself, Cyclone Nation. Uh, for him to be out here in the stands, it, it shows who he is as a person, high character, and he supports his guys. Looking back on your time at Iowa State, your role kind of grew each year that you were there. What ways do you feel your game developed the most over your time there? Well, I came in Iowa State as a point guard, uh, you know, and uh, we needed shooting desperately my sophomore year as we lost six seniors. Um, you know, so I sat down with Coach Fred and he told me that I need to become a shooting guard. And, uh, you know, that's what my role was for a couple years. We had some great guards uh, that were in there. As the year went on, uh, years went on, we lost George, DeAndre came, Melvin Egypt. I had to put the ball on the deck and get back to my ways, facilitate, uh, finish at the basket and things like that. And, uh, you know, I definitely think that's something I've been working on. And, uh, you know, it's a blessing to be able to show that and showcase that in front of these uh, top level t uh, programs. Do you feel like point guard is possibly your future at the next level or? Whatever the case may be, um, I can definitely play the point guard. I can definitely play the two guard. I'm a little bit smaller than two, but with guys like Patty Mills, JJ Reddick coming in there, uh, Corey Joseph playing off the ball, uh, Steph Curry even uh, is, a, is a high level one. But, you know, that's a role I can play as well. Um, I can create for others, uh, guard people and, and make the three. So point guard uh, is definitely something I'm aiming for. If I have to be something else, whatever my role is, I'm looking to maximize that. You had a very successful showing at Portsmouth. What went right for you up there? Um, you know, my teammates really were looking for me. They knew I could really shoot the ball. Um, I was getting a ton of good looks. Uh, you know, the structure wasn't as uh, detailed as it is in college. So I think guys were, you know, lackadaisical on the defensive end, maybe a little bit. Um, but, you know, I was just getting some great looks and I have to credit my teammate to that and shots were just falling. So uh, that, was a, that was a great opportunity for me and I'm glad I capitalized on it. Lastly, I read that you boxed as a kid. Uh, does that toughness that you kind of learned from that, is that something that you can carry with you on the basketball floor? No question. Uh, that's kind of who I am. That's what I modeled myself after. My father was a kickboxer, a uh, world champion. And, uh, you know, I take pride in being competitive, uh, strong and aggressive on the court. Um, I'm not the most athletic. Uh, I'm not freakishly long or, or tall, you know, so I have to use that heart and that desire and that fight to, you know, win my edge in the 50-50 balls and, and be that competitor on the court. So, yeah, that boxer does definitely come out of me when I'm on the court.